Okay, let's start in on our trivial and small instances. It says to write down all the trivial instances of USMP. So what are all the trivial instances of the unstable marriage problem? Uh, sorry, the unequal stable marriage problem. And it says we think of an instance as trivial roughly if its solution requires no real reasoning about the problem. And again, just like we've talked about before, trivial here isn't a technical word where we're going to say, oh, is this trivial or is this not trivial on an exam? It's just a way for us to think about at what point problems become interesting and which problems might be, say, good base cases for recursion. So previously, with the stable marriage problem, our trivial instances were no men and no women, or one man and one woman. So let's think about that again. L let's say that this is our problem here inside of this empty circle. No men, no women. Is that trivial still? Well, sure. It's still going to be the case that the only solution is no one is married to anyone else. So we've still got that trivial problem. What's different? Well, we can have more men than women, so what if we have no men and one woman? Is that still trivial? So I'm just going to modify the existing example here. I'm going to, I'm going to put a man in here. Uh, we'll put men on this side, and we'll put women on that side. Okay, so is it still trivial now that we've got one man in this example? And the answer is, yeah, it's still trivial. There's no women, so no one's going to end up married in this example either. In fact, it doesn't matter how many men we have, we can just put a little dot 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 in there to say there's any number of men you like. If there's no women, then this is a trivial instance. The solution is going to have to be that no one is married to anyone else. So this is actually an infinite number of trivial instances so far. Uh, all instances with no women, so let's just make a note of that, no women, and an arbitrary number of men, including zero. Zero is fine, because remember, the problem says that there are at least as many men as women, so there can be zero men. Now, the other thing we called trivial before was when there was one man and one woman. And I'm going to make my circle larger this time, because maybe we'll end up with an infinite number of men again. It would be nice to write it inside the circle. So I'm going to put the men on this side, and I'm going to put the women on this side. Here's my one woman. Here's my one man. Is that still trivial? Well, sure. That's still trivial. The woman is going to end up with the man. There's only one option. Now, what if we put in two men? Is that still trivial? Well, it seems like there are two possible options. She could end up with the first man, or she could end up with the second man. And it's not clear which one it'll be unless we know something about the preferences and the problem. So maybe this isn't trivial. Maybe only that first example where there's one man and one woman is trivial. Definitely that is, so let's write it down. One man plus one woman. That's definitely trivial. Notice, by the way, that we can't have no men plus one woman because we have to have at least as many men as women. Okay, so how about two or three or four men? The question is, who will the woman be matched up against? Now remember, there's one woman, and we'll make the same assumption we made with the stable marriage problem. That is, that everybody prefers to be married to somebody rather than nobody. Now, in that case, all of these men's preference lists, they're all going to look like, oh, W1, W1, dot, 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 dot. Everybody's going to say... I like W1, and they don't have any other options. They like less not being married. Now that means every single man would love to be married to W1, the woman on the right. But she's not going to prefer every single man. She's going to have a preference list that says which man she likes most. So let's say she's got man I at the front of her list. Well, whoever man I is, she's going to get to marry that man. Because he wants to marry her. She wants to marry him. Whatever algorithm we use to find a matching, it had better come up with her married to him, or else she'll run off with the person she most preferred, and he'll happily run off with her. And that would be an instability. So I'm going to say this is trivial too. In my mind, this is also trivial. And what's going on here? We've got one woman, one woman, and an arbitrary number again of men. You can decide whether you think that's trivial or not. 
it does take into account the woman's preferences. It doesn't take into account the men's preferences, or if you prefer, their preferences are fixed. But it doesn't do a whole lot with the woman's preferences. It just looks at whoever her first preference is, and she'll marry that one. Will marry M.I.